What's going on, guys? It is your Wrestling King, formerly known as Wrestling DVD Central, but uh, we're done with that. You know, we're still a DVD channel, DVD collector, as you can see, and this channel is going to be about wrestling. But um, just to kick this channel off, I want to do a good old fashioned WrestleMania review. WrestleMania 38, also known as the most stupendous two night WrestleMania in history, this one was. Um, even though it was only the third two-night WrestleMania. But I can't argue. It was very good. Um, and on the cover, we have this nice star logo, since they were in Dallas, Texas. Uh, AT&T Stadium, I believe. And I think they got somewhere around 70,000 fans that attended the 70 or 72,000. And you got Brock and Roman up top. Championship unification. This was, you know, the big money match for the weekend. And then you have The Undertaker down there, Stone Cold Steve Austin with his Dallas 316 shirt on, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair, the champions, and then Ronda Rousey and Bianca Belair, challengers. And this is a three-disc set, the DVD. I did not get the Blu-ray this year. Um, for, so for the spine, you got the Usos, RK Bro, and then Edge, and AJ Styles on the other side. So on the back, you have your general mania backing, you know, your screenshots, but I think it looks good. They always pack a lot on, but this one looks pretty good. You know, you got Stone Cold up in the left corner riding his ATV and stunning KO, which a lot of stunners on this show, I got to admit. Night one and night two, ton of them. Uh, yeah, you got Drew McIntyre jumping over the top rope and the return of Cody Rhodes. That was a big moment for the show on night one. Um, he was the hand-picked opponent by Vince McMahon to face Seth Rollins. So, yeah, that was a big moment. Awesome. Also had Pat McAfee in action here against Austin Theory. And then Roman there, a shot with both the titles, unifying the WWE and the Universal Championships, which we have seen unified titles a lot. But, um, you know, I think it works. I don't. I haven't been a huge fan of his run so far, but, you know, it is what it is. Then looking on the inside, you got your three discs, you got blue, and then red for disc two, and then a clear disc, disc three. So I am going to grab my match listing and run through the card, night one and night two, and tell you what's on each disc. So on disc one, we start out with night one of WrestleMania, starting off with the, the Usos, the SmackDown Tag Champs, defending against Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs. And then we had Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. And then The Miz and Logan Paul, which Logan Paul had a great showing, I thought, versus The Mysterios. And obviously Logan Paul is signed to a full-time deal with the WWE now. So obviously they thought he had a really good showing too. Um, and then we had Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's title. One of the matches of the night for me, or the weekend, honestly. That was a great match. And then Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins, probably my favorite match of the whole weekend. But, you know, those two matches are very close for me. And then we also had Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. That was all right. And that is all on disc one. And then the main event of that show, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Kevin Owens in a street fight. Originally supposed to be the KO show, turned into a match. Um, that was an awesome segment, match, moment, awesome. But that is on disc three along with the main event of night two. So then night two, we kick off with, um, I think Omas versus Bobby Lashley. And then we had RK Bro defending the Raw Tag Team titles against Alpha Academy and the Street Profits. Then we had Sami Zayn versus Johnny Knoxville in a street fight or no holds barred match. Then we had Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. I was excited for that because you know, I've been a big fan of Pat McAfee on commentary. He's very entertaining. And I thought his match was really good. And I'm happy to see he's going to be getting in the ring again at SummerSlam, looks like, against Happy Corbin. Um, just to see Pat McAfee in the ring is going to be great. Then we had Edge versus AJ Styles. Um, pretty good match. Obviously, those two veterans, great. Um, then we had, I think it was Sheamus, Ridge, Holland, and Butch versus Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston of the New Day. Very short match, though. They didn't get a lot of time on the show. 
And then the main event, I think that was all that was on... That's all on disc two. And then you get the main event of the whole weekend, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, the greatest WrestleMania main event of all time. They tagged it. Championship unification, winner take all, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. And obviously we know who walked out as the champion. But coming up at SummerSlam, we're going to get a rematch. Last man standing, so... You know, the feud that never ends, I'm not complaining too much about it. I mean, it's a big money match, but, you know, you got to end a feud sometime, right? So, anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. That's WrestleMania 38. Overall, pretty good show, I thought. Really good, really nice. So, let me know if you guys have this DVD down below in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next one.